Hi, Sam Bell here for Rift Station. This month I'm going to take you through a writing concept I like to use when coming up with chord progressions. What you just heard there was a bit of my song which is called You All Know What To Think. And in that song it started off by me playing around with some chord inversions. You had some of these chords. And um, one of the first things I did was I kind of played around the chords or had the same note in. And I was basing around this note here, it's a uh, B flat. And I start off with uh, F sharp major seventh, first inversion kind of thing. The lowest note being F sharp, the root fifth, major seventh, and third. Then I uh, switched around and I thought, well, in that note's there. I like the sound of major sevenths kind of in the same chord progression, sort of non-functional harmony, meaning that the chords aren't related in any real sense. Um, the next chord is this one. Which is a... E flat major 7, but we've got the uh, third in the bass, so it's a first inversion major 7th. And instead of teaching you every single chord in this progression, I'm just going to teach you how I figured out the inversions for each of these chords, and you can try it with any other kind of uh, major or minor 7 or dominant 7th or you know, diminished 7th that you want to, and you can go beyond that. Lots of ideas you can do, and you don't have to play them in chord clusters like I've done. I've done it this way because I'm using distortion and I like I wanted a kind of thick sound in the low end. So um, I'm going to start with a A major seventh for you today. So sounds like this. We've got a uh, root on the fifth uh, fifth fret E string. We have the fifth on the seventh fret A string. Then we have the major 7th on the D string 6th fret and the 3rd on the 6th fret G. Okay, so it should sound like this. And all we're going to do is move these same notes up to the next note in the uh, chord. So that the root is now going to become the 3rd and then the 5th is now going to become the major 7th. And then the major 7th, which is on the D, is now we're going to become the root. And the 3rd is going to become the 5th on the G. So we're going to have this. So that is five, uh, sorry, 9 on the E, 11 on the A, and we have a 7 on the D, and we have 9 on the G. We take that same concept, we end up with this one. Second inversion, A major 7 starting with the 5th in the bass. So all those notes have moved up again, we've got 12, 12, 11 and 13. Finish off with this shape here, which has actually got the seventh in the bass, it's so a third inversion. So it's 16, 16, 14, 14, you're looking for frets. So there we have it, that's how I came up with the chords for my song You All Know What to Think.
check it out on my YouTube channel, there's a whole song right there. Um, and have fun with using inversions and chord progressions. It's something that's quite a simple idea that's often overlooked. And I think of now, nowadays uh, technical progressive rock. It's a great tool for coming up with you know, slightly quirky chord progressions. So enjoy!